Eric Schmidt, Chairman of Google. It's me, a colleague of mine that we have in common, and him. Chicago Cut Steakhouse, talking about the future of my company. I got to learn from one of the titans of industry, some of the blind spots in my business. One of his quotes is that in two days now, we generate more information than we did from the dawn of man from 2003. The crush of information. Can you imagine every second how much information that we're, we're looking at? How do, you, how do you separate the information that's useless from the facts that are actually informing you about how to manage those blind spots in your business. If we're not having real-time conversations with our customers and employees on a daily basis, do you think we might be in a little bit of trouble? So why does it matter? Why do feedback conversations matter? I had a mentor who ran a 40,000-person organization across several countries, and he'd always tell me, Thomas, you can't see the picture when you're in the front. It's the blind spots, the areas that we don't even know, that we don't know that are impacting our business, that's where we're getting killed. And that's also where our growth might be happening, but we can't put a, put a, put a finger on it. So your customers and your employees, your, your driving force behind your company, if you're not having feedback conversations with those people, you think you might be able my name is Thomas K.R. Sobo. I'm the founder of Candid. Candid is a mobile business intelligence app for C-level executives that allows them to spark real-time feedback conversations two-way, by location, by department, anywhere in the world, down to the second. Your customers, your suppliers, your distributors, your employees, anyone connected to your business, in the palm of your hand. So how did I get here? 2005, I'll tell you a story. I worked in a real estate private equity investment firm. I'm in LA, got a chance to move some really high level people, people who ran enterprises. I learned three things. Number one, money is an idea. Money is a conversation. Business moves in conversations. You wanna find out what's happening with the health of any aspect of your business, listen to the conversations. Number two, Relationships are the currency of business. Trust is what gives that currency its value. Mm -hmm. Consistent interactions plus communication over time, <clears throat> that's trust, the conversations. Number three, the higher up the food chain you go, the harder it is to stay connected to the conversation with your customers and employees on the ground floor, mm -hmm. the people who make your business move. So. The higher up you go, the further away you get from the conversations. Do you think that if you're running a huge organization where every decision that you make literally can add or subtract millions of dollars from the bottom line of your business, that there is pressure on your shoulders to make the right call? Your career, your identity, your business is literally on the line with every call that you make. Reed Hastings, July 2011, CEO of Netflix, decides that he's gonna separate DVD sales from online streaming. No big deal, right? 60% rate hikes to his customers. Huge mistake. Customers revolt. A deluge of emails hit the Netflix servers. Over that three month time period, Netflix lost close to a million customers. In October 2011, their stock hit $76. Three months earlier, it almost topped at $300 per share. The cost of not asking his customers one simple question before making a move. So, candid. Real-time, two-way feedback conversations with your customers, your employees, your suppliers, your distributors, anyone connects to your business. Targeted, track measured, and quantified by location, by department, anywhere in the world. My name
name is Thomas Stovall, Strategic Partners, Investors. We'd love to have a conversation with you.